How often do you find yourself overwhelmed by the stresses of daily life? In the hustle and bustle of our fast-paced world, it's easy to feel like you're constantly playing catch-up. The deadlines, the responsibilities, the never-ending to-do lists. It's a whirlwind, isn't it? Amidst all this chaos, our mental health often takes a back seat. But remember, nurturing your mind is just as important as taking care of your body. Now imagine a tool that can not only help you manage stress, but also enhance your mental wellness. Intriguing, right? This is where meditation comes into play. Meditation, a practice as old as time itself, offers a sanctuary of tranquility in our otherwise tumultuous lives. It's like hitting the pause button on the world around you, even if it's just for a few moments. But how exactly can meditation help with stress relief? Let's find out. Meditation is not just about relaxation, it's a process of aligning your inner self with the universe. It's a practice that has been around for an incredibly long time, dating back to approximately the 5th and 6th centuries BCE, originating in ancient spiritual traditions of India. Over time it has evolved and adapted, branching out into numerous forms and styles, yet at its core remains a tool for self-discovery and inner peace. So what exactly is meditation? Well, it's a practice where individuals use a technique, such as mindfulness, focusing their mind on a particular object, thought, or activity, to train attention and awareness, and achieve a mentally clear and emotionally calm and stable state. It's essentially a method of transforming the mind, encouraging and developing concentration, clarity, emotional positivity, and a calm seeing of the true nature of things. The benefits of meditation are numerous and scientifically proven. It's not just about feeling good in the moment, but about cultivating lasting qualities that contribute to a sense of well-being and happiness. One of the most acknowledged benefits is stress relief. In our fast-paced, ever-connected world, stress has become a common denominator in many of our lives. Meditation can help manage this stress, allowing us to navigate our daily lives with a bit more ease and tranquility. Another benefit is increased focus. By training our minds to concentrate on a single point of focus, we're essentially exercising our mental muscles, making them stronger and more capable. This can translate into improved attention and productivity in our day-to-day -day tasks. And let's not forget about sleep. Many of us struggle with falling asleep or staying asleep, often due to racing thoughts or worries. Meditation can help us relax our minds, making it easier to achieve a state of deep, restful sleep. Meditation is not just about relaxation. It's a process of aligning your inner self with the universe, now that we know what meditation is, it's time to learn how to do it. Scene script. Preparation is the key to a successful meditation session. Indeed, setting the stage plays a significant role in nurturing a fruitful meditation experience. Let's start with finding a quiet place. This could be anywhere. A corner of your room, your garden, or even a peaceful spot in a nearby park. The goal is to find an area where you won't be disturbed allowing you to focus on your inner world without external interruptions. Next, consider your attire. Comfort is paramount. Loose-fitting clothes that don't restrict your movement or your breathing are ideal. Remember, meditation is not about enduring discomfort. It's about embracing relaxation and calm. Lastly, decide on the duration of your session. For beginners, starting with short periods like 10 to 15 minutes can be beneficial. As you grow more comfortable with the practice, you can gradually increase this time. With these preparations done, we're ready to start meditating. Meditation is a journey within, and like any journey, it has its steps. Today we will embark on a three-step journey into the realm of meditation. The steps include focusing on the breath, observing thoughts without judgment, and gently returning focus to the breath when the mind wanders. Our first step begins with the breath. The breath is the life force that flows through us, connecting us to the present moment. Close your eyes and turn your attention inward. Feel the cool air entering your nostrils and the warm air leaving. Notice the rise and fall of your chest and abdomen with each inhalation and exhalation. Let your breath flow naturally without trying to control or change it. This is not a breathing exercise, but a process of observation. 
By focusing on the breath, we anchor ourselves in the present moment, away from the distractions of the past and the uncertainties of the future. The second step is observing thoughts without judgment. As we meditate, thoughts will inevitably arise. They may be about the day's events, future plans, worries or memories. This is normal. The mind's job is to think, just as the heart's job is to beat. Instead of trying to suppress thoughts or getting carried away by them, we simply observe them. Imagine that you are sitting by a river, watching the water flow. The thoughts are like leaves floating on the river. They come into view, float by and then disappear. You are the observer, not the participant. Remember, this is a practice of non-judgment. When a thought arises, do not label it as good or bad, right or wrong. Simply acknowledge its presence and let it pass. If you notice that you're judging your thoughts or getting caught up in them, that's okay too. Simply acknowledge this and gently bring your focus back to your breath. This brings us to the third step, gently returning focus to the breath when the mind wanders. It is natural for the mind to wander during meditation. When you notice this happening, don't criticize yourself or get frustrated. Instead, congratulate yourself for noticing. This moment of awareness is a significant part of mindfulness. Gently guide your attention back to your breath, your anchor in the present moment. These three steps, focusing on the breath, observing thoughts without judgment and returning focus to the breath, form the foundation of meditation. They are simple yet profound, easy to understand but challenging to master. It's a practice and like any practice, it gets easier with time. Remember, meditation is not about stopping thoughts, but about observing them without judgment. Just as we watch the leaves floating by on a river, we watch our thoughts come and go without attachment or aversion. We are not our thoughts. We are the observer, the awareness behind the thoughts. And in this space of awareness, we find peace, clarity and a deeper connection with ourselves. After a meditation session, it's important to transition back to your daily routine gently. You've just spent a precious pocket of time cultivating mindfulness, tranquility and self-awareness. Don't rush to leap back into the hustle and bustle. Instead, take a few moments to bask in the serenity, to truly feel the effects of the meditation. Let your mind and body marinate in the calmness and clarity you've just cultivated. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Allow your senses to gradually acclimate to the world around you. Feel the air on your skin, hear the sounds in your environment, and notice any smells or tastes lingering. Now consider doing something nourishing for your body. Perhaps you'd like to stretch, awakening your muscles gently after the stillness of meditation. Or you might choose to drink a glass of water, hydrating your body and encouraging a sense of refreshment and renewal. These practices help maintain the calm and focus achieved during meditation. So we've learned how to meditate, but remember, it's a practice that grows with time. It's like planting a seed. In the beginning, it's small, barely noticeable, but with care, attention and regular watering, it grows, blossoms and bears fruit. Our journey began by understanding what meditation is, a process of calming the mind, focusing inward, and achieving a state of thoughtless awareness. It's not about eradicating thoughts, but learning to observe them without judgment. It's about finding your inner peace amidst the chaos. Preparation is key to a successful meditation session. We learned how to set up a serene, clutter-free space and the importance of comfortable clothing. It's crucial to find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed, allowing your mind to retreat from the external world and focus on the inner self. Then, we dove into the steps of meditation, starting with a simple focus on breath, feeling the air enter and leave your body, gradually taking you deeper into a state of relaxation. The goal is not to control your thoughts, but to let them come and go, observing them without attachment. Post-meditation, it's essential to take a few moments to gently come back to your surroundings, moving slowly and maintaining the calmness and clarity achieved during your meditation. Meditation has innumerable benefits. It reduces stress, enhances focus, and boosts emotional well-being. It is a tool to align your chakras, bringing harmony and balance to your life. It's not just about the time spent in meditation, but the ripple effect it creates throughout your day, 
making you more mindful and patient. And now I encourage you to make meditation a part of your daily routine. Like any other skill, it gets easier with practice. Don't be disheartened if you find it challenging in the beginning. Just keep going. Every moment spent in meditation is a step towards a calmer, more balanced you. Meditation is a journey, not a destination. So take your time, be patient with yourself, and enjoy the journey.